And you see, Alan was right. No matter how much I hate what you did to Beth and Lizzie, when I think that you were willing to go that far to get to me... You were flattered. Yes. That was a long time ago. I know that. And a lot has happened too much. Hey, you know what? I'm not saying that I think... Why are you saying... Why are you saying this? Why? What, what possible good can it do? Because I understand. That's all I'm saying. I hate what you did to my daughter. I just don't think that I get to be flattered by it and still be self-righteous about the fact that you did it. Is that, is that an apology? No, not exactly. Okay. And Alan made you realize all this? Mm-hmm. Well, then I owe him. I mean, if it means at least a truce between you and me on the subject. But other than that, I don't think that we should ever discuss how flattered you are again. I think that's a really good idea. Well, you sure are getting around. Is my son bothering you again? Your words are very kind, Father Ray. I'm sure there are others here who would like to say nice things, true things, about Danny. I know that many of you are grieving, and I hate it. It's a waste. There's no reason that any of us should be mourning. Is going on. She knows that he's alive. What? She's gonna blow the whole thing. Dad, I have to do this. No, you don't. I'm not gonna mourn Danny. And neither should any of you. Because Danny isn't dead. Danny is very much alive. He's alive in the face of our son, Robbie. He's alive in my heart. He's alive in the good things that he did manage to do. Many of you might not have thought Danny is a good person or someone who did good things. In some ways, you're right. Danny didn't lead a model life. But he helped many of you in this room at different times. That should count for something, right? It was always a fight for Danny to do the right thing. It was always a struggle. It didn't come easy for him. Because in his world, it always came with a price. But he still tried. I love Danny. 
And I know, I know that he loved me. But there was something that he loved more. His family. It was a part of him he could never forget. And in the end, in the end, he loved them more. I guess that's the thing that's always going to haunt me. I love Danny, and I, I can't even imagine loving someone else. That's the hole in my heart. That's what I need. Carmen to help me heal. All of us heal Carmen. I mean, he chose you in the end. You're the one he loved. Despite everything, no matter what happened, he always went back to you. Please, Carmen, please help us. Help us understand Danny. Help us know the son that you loved. Fences. You want to be a part of Robbie's life? Help me understand Danny. Go on. If you don't, people are going to wonder why. my baby boy. So, how, how was your evening? I'm glad you came home early. How was your meeting? Well, Rainer had to cancel, but the rest of the evening was interesting. Uh, but by the end, predictable and irrelevant. Sounds cryptic and um, not much fun. Well, that's why I hurried home. I um, have a better idea for this evening. Really? Well, I guess I'll go put the boys to bed. Philip, don't you have plans this evening? Places to go? I mean, you really need to get out more. You know, Dad, I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'll go run some errands. Good. Well, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. Try to get some rest. Good night, Olivia. And shut the door on your way out. We'd like a little privacy. Okay, you know, you can stop pretending. He knows anyway. He figured you were putting on a good show for public consumption. I'm not pretending, and I'm not putting on a show. I don't have anywhere to go. Alan, I would do anything to make you happy. You would? Whatever you want. I mean, if you're serious, I... I'm very serious, Olivia. What are you up to? I'm trying to make an effort with my wife. Really? I don't like being angry with you. You mean too much to me. I knew who you were when I married you, and that is 
why I married you, and I don't want us to live our lives the way we've been living them since Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't... thank God, I don't either. I, am, I, will, I will apologize every day for the rest of my life if, that, if that's what you want, but we'll just both get sick of it, you know? I mean, you're going to hate me if I keep groveling. Worse than that, you'll lose respect for me. How can you be so smart and have made such lousy choices before, huh? I don't know. That's a really good question. I just... I know that I, I'm so sick of letting people down, and I don't want to be let down anymore. That's why I, I really want this marriage to work. So do I. Well, then tell me, what do I do? <clears throat> okay. All right, for starters, let's be simple and direct. I know that's shocking coming from me, but uh, who knows, it might work. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. um, simple and direct. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I want us to take our relationship to a new level. OK. I'm going to have to work on simple and direct because I don't understand. You understand that family means everything to me. It's the most important thing. I mean, power, position, money comes and goes, but in the end, it is family. Okay. There's one way that we can truly be family, and it's what I want. It will make things right between us. I am your family. I am. I promise you that. But I want more. I want you to have our baby. Hey. Hey. Glad I caught you. Do you come in peace? Ah, yes, in peace. And I'm buying. Really? I'm always buying. I meant the peace uh, part. Yes, really. In peace. OK. Why? Is something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. No. I don't know. We got a little surface around here. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> what? Why on earth did you call me? I just wanted to see you. I thought, that, you know, it's been a while since we've had a chance to sort of sit down and try to be civil with each other. But hey, if, you, if you'd like to use it as an opportunity to gloat and rub my nose in the fact that I was wrong, you could do that. You were wrong. Now, how did that happen? It's the hell out of me. Uh, I got people working on it, trying to figure it out. No, listen, go ahead. You, if you want to take your shots, be my guest. You're entitled. And what if I don't want to? Then I'll get us a drink. Is it still Chardonnay? Danny. Danny was my baby boy. My youngest son. And God knows I loved all my children the same. All of them. Mick, his older brother, Mick was um, a different kind of a child, more like his uncle's. But Danny, Danny was so sweet, so sensitive, so smart, so very smart. He was all mine, all mine. He was my light. I did everything I could to protect him to keep him safe, to shelter him. Maybe that's why, where I made my mistake. You see, because Danny never had to take on the responsibility of the family. He never had to do that. I let him play. I let him have fun. Because I wanted him to have a better life. I wanted that for him. But things happen. Things you can't control. And that's my fault. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? That it's all my fault. I spoiled Danny. I did. 
because he never knew. He didn't know what was coming. He, when he had to take over his big brother's place, he didn't know how. He was never prepared for that. I thought that if I could just stay firm, if I stayed strong, if I was patient that he would come around, that he would... But he never did. He shut me out of his life completely. Oh, he came back. He came back, but it was never the same. The damage had already been done. He was back, but not really. And now Danny is dead. And it's my fault. It's my fault. Say it, say it, say it. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Danny is dead. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Danny, you're gone. I'll never see you again. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. Do you think that'll hold up? No, that's not enough. She's got to say the words. Oh, no. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me, Father. You, you of all people, you dare to judge me. When I needed you, you dare do that. Well, I don't need you. I don't need you anymore. I don't need any of you. You'll never, never understand anything. That wasn't it. It wasn't even a person for a warrant, let alone a full confession. I'm gonna have to go to plan B, okay? We're gonna need it. I'm, I'm serious. How, how are things? Let's go back to the you were wrong part. Okay. <laughs> I was. I was wrong. More. <laughs> I, I was wrong about Olivia and the diary. You told me that on Thanksgiving. I was wrong not to suspect her from the beginning. <laughs> she came up with a perfect cover story. You suspected her from the beginning? Yeah, but then she said that Lorelei had it published, and it made sense. I have to say, you're, you're being incredibly calm about all of this. Yeah, I am, except for how it hurt Lizzie. Yeah, but I mean, the diary and the, I mean, everything around it, that's, that was the reason that you moved out. No, it was the last straw. Oh, my God. What? What? Is that what this is about? What? Are you trying to find out if we have a second chance? A baby, a baby, a baby is such a huge commitment. Exactly my point. But I, I am already committed to you, Alan, body and soul. Why, why complicate things now with a baby? Complicate what? My life would change, okay? My time... Olivia, you're not going to do this alone. I'm, I'll be there to help Alan, you. Alan, when was the last... Have you ever changed a diaper in your I, life? I, I won't have to. You will have all the help that oh, you need. I thought so. No. We will hire as many nannies to help you change the diapers. You won't have to lift a finger. No, of course I would. I'd be the mother. It would be my child. Yes. But haven't you ever... Imagined yourself as a mother? In theory, yes, I have. Someday, after I've accomplished everything I want to in business, and that's something else I know. If I have a child, then 
That essentially is the end of my career. Who have you been listening to? Women have careers and families this all This isn't a little flower time. shop I'm running around the corner, Alan. Very powerful women like overseas. you. You're asking me to give up something that I worked very hard for, for years. Just when things are starting to come together. No, I'm not asking you to give up anything. If that's what you think, I, I would never ask you. Really? That even if it's something you really wanted? What, when have you ever backed off? Look, just, just talking about this is putting a strain on us. After what we have been through, having a baby is with stressful. Peace. It's stressful. And the only person I want to focus on and think about and take care of right now is you. It wasn't that long ago that you were sick and we thought you were good. Now, wait a minute. Are you, are you, are you implying that I'm not healthy enough and too old to be a no, father? No, that's is just that the point. You have years to be a father, okay? Years that we can be together and enjoy each other. I'll tell you what I want. I want to see my wife pregnant. I want to see our baby growing inside of you. I want to see you that glow. See, of... You want to see. You want to see me bloat up and become untouchable. Is that what this I, I, is about? I don't know what you're talking about. This is about Philip, isn't it? How? How could you bring up Philip in the middle of a conversation me, having, like... Isn't that what you did? I mean, isn't this about making me unattractive to Philip? You know, it's very offensive what you just said about oh, my right, son. No, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended you. It's just that this is sudden. It's out of the blue, and I have to wonder if, if you... You're talking about starting over, and you want to start over with me huge and bloated. Is that what you think? You think when you're pregnant that you're... You're going to be huge and unattractive and unsexy. Huge, yes. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. Because pregnant women, Olivia, have this wonderful aura, this glow about them. They're at their most feminine. They're very sexy. Really? Yes. Olivia, the ability to produce and to create a child inside of you is the most miraculous force there is. Men envy that. Believe me, darling, you will never be more attractive to me than when you are carrying my child. Alan, um, this is just such a huge, permanent responsibility. Permanent. Oh, I see. So that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid to be tied. No, I am tied to you. That's the point. I, I, I don't understand the big push right now, right this minute. So your answer is no? No, saying... I'm not saying no. I'm just saying that I need to think about it and get used to the idea and figure out how I can manage it. Well, I know one thing. You can manage anything you put your mind to. But, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, we could practice, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Because I've missed you so much. I've missed you, too. Wait a minute. Did, did I say anything about the two of us getting back together? You're, you're with Bill. Yes. Right, and I know that. And that's going well. Very. Okay, and I know that. So, no, listen, you, you made it very clear that, you know, regardless of how the diary came out, that you're, you're happy where you are. I am. Right, yeah. and I know that. Knew it when I came in, I'll know it when I go out. And you are a very knowledgeable guy, but... Okay. So what? I'm just wondering. Wondering what? 
Whether I should ask. Um... I'm wondering whether you should ask. I think you know by now you can ask me anything. Ah, uh, yes, but you see, the question is, do I really want to know? Um... What? Okay. You call me here out of the blue to apologize for something that you have already apologized for and to give me a chance to gloat that you were actually wrong about something. Sound like a fun evening. Except, I've known you to make mistakes for a long, long time, and I don't gloat. You know both of those things. Okay, well then I guess we're ready to move on to the weather. Or sports. Or actually, we could talk about what we're going to get the kids for Christmas. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, 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 I'm fine. How's your, your life, you know? It's supposed to snow next week. <laughs> Big front coming in off the lake. <laughs> you don't really want to know. No, I don't. <laughs> Maybe someday, because you are my oldest and dearest friend, but right now... Too soon. Yeah, too soon. Yeah, for, hey, for me, too. You know what they have here? Hmm. Have you had the dumplings? No. Gotta have the dumplings. Let's do that. Let's get some dumplings. And maybe we can figure out what we're gonna get the kids for Christmas. Sounds good. Okay. But I have to go soon. Yeah, so do I. You okay? Absolutely. Oh, you look it. Look, it's okay to cry. It is a funeral. Bill, don't waste a minute worrying about me, okay? I'm fine. Danny's safe. He's in a safe place. I know it. So let it go. Call Danny, tell him to get in a position, okay? It. I can't. I can't let Carmen be the last word on Danny. Did, what did you? Did you see what Ray went? He followed Carmen out of here. Well, I guess I'm up. It was nothing. Hey, I am sorry about my aunt. Hard to believe, but she loved Danny. Or she thinks she did. She was just really lousy at it. What Michelle said about not being easy for Danny to do the right thing, she was right. It's the same thing with love. See, that's not something we really learn well in the Santos family. See, when when there's love, when there's real love in front of us, sometimes we don't know how to handle it, and we, we mess up bad. But then he learned, Michelle, he loved you and Robbie so much, he would do anything for you guys. I mean, he did. He was willing to sacrifice his life for you. And he almost made it. When I last saw Danny, he wouldn't stop talking about you and Robbie. I mean, that's all he cared about. He just wanted you guys to have a good life and, and be safe, you know? Even if he couldn't be there, he just, he knew that there were risks that he was taking. But you and Robbie, you were so 
worth it. And if he had to do it over again, whatever it would cost him, he would. Then he also asked me, what it is that matters to me in life. And I thought about it and I knew the answer. And even if I didn't, Danny, sure enough, he showed me the way. So, yeah, sure, Danny might not have lived the perfect life. But you know what? He died a hero. And in my book, he will always be a hero. If no one else has anything else to say, we're having a reception at Inferno. I hope you all can make it. There's going to be a lot of people there, and Tony's already feeling alone enough as it is. I think we should go be with her. Say a rosary. You guys go ahead, I'll catch up with you later. You're back early. Yeah, my errands didn't take as long as I thought they might. You didn't happen to notice. Did, uh, did Lizzie get home? Oh, uh, no, I haven't noticed. God, I'm gonna be a great mother. What? You think I'd be a good mother? I'm sure you would bring the same intensity and passion for raising a child that you bring to everything. Oh, God help that child. Mm. Yeah, it could be a problem. No, actually, I think you'd probably be a good mother. Thanks. Thanks. Nobody's ever um, thought that before. Really? 
You never thought about having kids? Truthfully, no. Hmm. Maybe I'm a little burnt out from raising Sam. Hmm. All I ever really wanted were companies and conglomerates and yachts and helicopters. Never really children. Yeah, well, hmm. Why the sudden? Alan wants to have a child. I didn't say that. Of course he does. You know what? I don't. This is, we can't. Forget it. Forget that I asked. I'm sorry that I asked. Just, we can't talk about this. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. Good evening, Carmen. How did you get in here? Uh, I don't know. Lurch let me in. Whoever was at I the door. I have just been at my son's memorial. Show some respect and leave my That's home That's okay. Now. I just, you know, I wanted to give you something you're going to need for the burial. What are you talking about? While you left in such a hurry, I thought you'd need it. It's your son, Danny. You know, or, or what's left of him. If you don't want to stick around for this and just go home, people will understand. I'm fine. Hey, look, honestly, we'll, we'll, we'll cover for you. It's not a problem at all. It's it's just that you're holding so much oh, inside. Stop worry telling about. me how to feel, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, look, it's, it's fine. We uh, we deserve it. No, we're, we're pushing no, here, I, so. I didn't mean it. I, you guys are being nice, and I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done with the stupid game. I want to see Danny face to face right now. We have to wait until we hear from Gus and Harley. No way. I'm not going to sit here and watch people feel torn up or bad for me any longer. Either we go right now or I'm making a group announcement. All right. Okay. You deserve some answers. Come on. I'll take you to Danny. This has been Guiding Light, 